chikitsa okay and chikitsa we call is like without without entering to i i can't remember the sloka now but um, i remember a little bit the uh, whole thing i can remember without entering to your internal abhyantara we call enter into internal uh, to heart you can't do chikitsa you know you have to enter to patient's heart and open the heart and then is called chikitsa that means chit chit open in the consciousness and then you go with the patient and then you have to tell them how to stay upright in with the universe right this don't and that as long as you go in dharmically universe will hold you and what are the dharma what are the not dharma you have to teach them but it is okay and then we go into talk about chikitsa and chikitsa in ayurvedic chikitsa is cons- consists with two different categories we do two ways you know it is swastha parayana or atul parayana swastha parayana first one and swastha parayana mean prevention and atul parayana mean kill and prevention uh the 95% of ayurveda rely on prevention method 90% 10% is Q. Okay? 10% is Q, 95% is 90% is uh, prevention. But you know, if if you know this properly, this doesn't exist. You know, people know prevention, prevent and disorder doesn't exist. And that means our treatment is rely on 90% to people to say how to stay healthy you know and even you cure the person you know the, you curing you cure you have to put 10% effort the tell them to prevent from the disorder you have to put 90% effort you know what i mean even patient come you know this this your your treatment all treatment for example veronica come in and see me to arthritis okay and i have to make effort 10% to cure her i have to make effort to 90% to prevent her you know prevent her mean she already have a disorder why she has to prevent you know why she has to prevent she already have disorder so stop again because ayurveda rely on hetu linga shastra you know hetu linga aushad mm, mm, and uh, sorry uh, it is too advanced you know and um, ayurveda says every action as a reaction and that mean karma and vyadi karma mean what you doing and we are the mean what happened you know after as a result what happened you know karma and for according to that karma there is some kind of cause and you know there is a there is action and reaction but action is the causative factors reaction is a disorder is going to be there and okay the 10% we have to put in here the patient eliminate the causative factors and give the medicine and ama pachana agni deepana this things get out from the place and then 90% we have to tell about how to not to get to the disorder you know not to get to the disorder and all the focus is our uh, question is for this this is not that important in anyway. because the person came we cure the person that's okay but not to get ill is the most important thing i read is focusing on because why if you do it properly the 10% of patient is not going to be there and that may be all out of a job <laughs> <laughs> is that the thing no we don't you know like as long as the universe ex- exist no the children going to be there <laughs> <laughs> you can't say you know like if you have a 
one child or ten children, you know, for mother, there is naughty children, is not bear, there or not there, but only one can be naughty and uh, uh, ten, nine can be naughty, you know, like kind of thing. It's like the universe always provide, pro produce the go against people, you know, go against the Dharma. It's your, your karma and Dharma, everything is supposed to happen and you can be ill. You know, at least you know your dharma can live. You know, ninety percent, a hundred percent in this planet. Previous karma can uh, come to you. Like uh, uh, tomorrow, if I have cancer tomorrow, it's not what I did this life. You know, it's like a past life. I don't know how many times I born and how many things I have done. And then karmic reaction can come any time. And then, and not even cancer. I might die in a uh, the the falling tree to my head and it's like I happen to be there in certain time, certain way and that means it's inevitable what they happen in here. But the thing is, when you stay in this and planet and you can do some things, you can do some actions to be, be, obey the Dharma and stay in planet according to give and take, not uh, manipulate in the give and take relationship, be healthy and then be healthy. Health is very important. Why? Because why you can do, you can do what you're meant to do in here. You know, for example, if you have a car to go to uh, the Croydon, uh, the um, Manchester, and you have a Ferrari car, you know, and you don't have to throw the car and say, I'm going to have a bicycle, you know, you have to look after the car. And that, that's a lot of people do is. Oh, as a Ferrari car is the, uh, the really funny for me, I'm becoming a bicycle, then it's your <laughs> journey is much longer than you think, you know. And But you have to look after your body, you know, and then you have to look after, and you have to treat properly, and then you have to take a precaution to not to get ill, and that's what is either the same. Is 90% is like Swasta Parayana, mean, mean um, the prevention, and then uh, the make, uh, uh, tell people how to live without a disorder and 10% is cure. And that's what, it, to stay healthy, I said, you know, this is previous lecture again, I read this four, four pillars, you remember? Dharma, Artha, Kama and Moksha. Yes, Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. And first one is Dharma. Dharma means give and take relationship with the universe, which hold you into a universe and don't rock the boat. <laughs> and that is dharma. And karma, this, you know, and dharma artha, artha mean, you know, where you come here, you know, like to have your who am I, what I should do to fulfill my life in a, in a way, the spiritually or the connect with my heart is a artha. Karma means karma. Karma mean discipline of the five senses, or moksha mean, what next, you know, every question you're going to make it after three uh, place you lived, and that is four different thing I already explained, to be healthy, there's a four pillars people should follow, you know, and uh, these things are very important in a, in a consultation, all consultation you have to talk about this, dharma, the kama, moksha, you know, discipline, you know, like five sense organs and, you know, like uh, dharma, what is the dharma, what is the karma, what is the, you know, uh, some sometimes, you know, you have to, so much c talking about the karma, even though you don't know very much, you know. And I, I remember everything, my, uh, if you have Asian mother in Sri Lanka or India, you know, everything is like bad thing, happen karma, good thing happen karma, everything. <laughs> What's the karma? You know, because it's like <laughs> those days, you know, when you're, when you're a child, even if she's falling down from somewhere, you know, and she says karma. Because, <laughs> like, and then you meant to think about something is like not your control. And that's what I thought when, when I s hear this, this, uh, this word over and over again, is something happened unexpectedly. And even you fall down or somewhere, it's a calm. I mean, you know, you can't, you know, let the life flow like that way because you can't, you can't very much have a control with that. You know, that's, that's, this is a good way to think about, you know. And then, yeah, then we go into Chikitsa.
and chikitsa treatment don't this will blow, blow your mind don't worry about we don't we don't go into learn everything but if we in a way we learn things okay and the chikitsa the treatment sim, sim, uh, system is like we call we go in uh, we first five uh, we, we can divide the five component first and first shamana shamana mean pacifying or palliative care palliative treatment shamana mean you know if you if you have a, a fever you have to paracetamol in western time and it's a shamana shamana mean just something act to the thing you know like if you have a diarrhea <coughs> you drink uh, the cumin and honey and then you little bit uh, the digestion is sorting out and it is a shamana treatment shamana mean pacifying the dosha and the shodhana shodhana mean purifying that mean you know the if it is a disorder like a tree you the there is a tree like that this is like that this is a, a tree a disorder and shamana mean cutting down all the branches okay and if it is so still bad cutting down from the stem cutting down from the uh, you know like uh, the root you know from here and this old thing called shaman shaman I mean just manage the disease and show then I mean you take the tree out of the root uproot the disorder you know and it's called show then and sometimes show then doesn't need it you know for example you know you know some trees they cut down from the stem put some hot water into the root <laughs> and then or put some tarm at little bit in here and disorder doesn't grow and it doesn't mean like you can use this space disorder is not there you know and that means every disorder doesn't need show them you know but some disorder whatever you do and this another root coming from here and grow okay another root coming from here and grow the plant and other root coming from here and grow the plant and, and that situation what we have to do we have to take the disorder out from the root okay but you know we call is don't do shodhana first why don't do it for sure? But people going to show them, you know, purifying treatment to India. What happened? What happened? They don't cut this. This has to be the procedure, you know. If you wanted to take the big tree out of the root, you don't dig the root, you see? What, you, what the people do? You know, you cut the branches, cut the stem, cut everything, and then dig the root down, you know. And that's how we show that it should be done. And first has to be apply the shamana, you know. And then when you come into the root, if you can't deal with that, then you go into the shodhana. And that means everybody going to India to have panchakarma, they go through that procedure? No. But they go, going, oh, I have panchakarma, I'm going to have panchakarma tomorrow. I thought, what? You're going to have panchakarma tomorrow? Yes. I thought, okay, go and come, you know, what can I say? <laughs> and then when you come, it's like more damage being done, you know. Why is that? They messed up with the whole going to uproot whole disorder from this area, you know. And that means it's chodhana and chamana. In that way, I, I explained to you, you, know, you have now picture in your head. Chodhana, chamana mean you can... Uh, manage the disorder and so many times we do shamana and shamana you do you must apply shamana before you do the shodhana you must apply the classifying treatment before you do the purifying treatment and it's called dosha kadachi kupyanti jita langana pachana langana pachana means just apply the purifying no, classifying treatment and yetushan shodhana that means this if you do like that way shamana thing hold together purify the pacifying treatment is still you can't find it is coming back 
and then you have to uproot from the uh, 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 uproot the disorder from the root, and then disorder will never come back. And that is this between shaman and shodhan treatment, the um, uh, the um, uh, meaning. And then rasayana, the other one, rasayana vajikarna. Rasayana and vajikarna mean rasayana mean rejuvenation. And most probably people going to rejuvenation to India, Sri Lanka, be my guest, go and have it. Rejuvenation means to, you know, like um, uh, a virulent treatment, you know, like a enhance your youth, enhance your uh, ability, capability to uh, fight the disorders, enhance your mental capacity to uh, stay in uh, this, mm, this uh, uh, environment and that's called Rasayana and Rasayana is the one in, in, in a popular as a panchakama everywhere, okay. Not disorder, you know, because disorder is like carefully you have to handle it, you know, Rasayana, uh, the kind of rejuvenation one, you can go to India, Sri Lanka and but don't call it panchakama because this is Rasayana treatment, rejuvenation and it's not detoxification it's like slight detoxification and mostly you give something to detox and you make your body is rejuvenated. But it doesn't mean your disorders can cure with that, you know, because if arthritis patient going to have a rasayana treatment in, in India, it doesn't appeal to them because it's arthritis person, patient has to carefully handle with the shamana, shodhana and rasayana. Shamana, the, the uh, pacifying treatment has to apply first and purifying for, uh, um, the treatment has to apply second and Rasayana, rejuvenation treatment apply third. The Western people going other way around. <laughs> Arthur, I'm going to arthritis, I'm going to have a Rasayana treatment first and because they don't know it, you see. They don't know it. They're going to punch a car for, you know, like, but the thing is, most probably in India, Sri Lanka, they don't do like that way. You know, they just know you are Westerners. They just apply the oil, put some oil and put some more oil and, mm -hmm. you know, tap you and come home, you know, just go home. That's like, it's, it's good. It's not bad, <laughs> you know, but it doesn't cure anything, you know, and then that is a rasayan. And then vaji karana, vaji karana means and if you have a, if you want to have fruit from the tree, what you doing? There is a fruit in a 50 years in a, in a, uh, in a uh, garden, not having apples yet. What do you have to do? You trim, trim a little bit, dig the thing, put fertilizer and put water and more, more soil. And then what is that called? Then inevitable fruit coming next year and it's called Vaji karan, okay. Your sexual health, you know, like if you wanted to have a, you know, and it is apply for vaji karan. Most rajki, rajki means royalist. Why royalist? One king has a hundred women. <laughs> that at least she has, he has to have a three times sex, you know, because otherwise how could you satisfy hundred women in one ki one one king, you know, one one man. To hundred women is like uh, quite a lot, and that means you know, every every woman is starving and waiting for king to come and have a sex, you know. And that means you know, king is like naked, you know. That <laughs> means king has to provide a lot of vajikal treatment in those days. There is a fruit or not? At least you need to have a, the sexual health, you know. And that means you know, he has to keep in a sexually very vigorous and is called Vaji Karna treatment. And Vaji Karna also is good who has no children, you know, the, 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 it's like a um, treatment for the sexual health and the children, you know, like a, it's a procreation. But still, if you have a problem in there, you have to go to Shamana, Shodhana, Rasayana, Vaji Karna, okay. Four things, four step. You can't straight away go into. A uh, king can have it because his ultimate aim is 
produce the sex, no children, whatever. And then he can have Vajika and a treatment. But the thing is, normal people who, who, go, who <coughs> doesn't have a child for some kind of reason, and they have to go through the, this kind of procedure, you know, show, uh, pacifying, purifying, and uh, rejuvenation, and Vajika and mean, you know, like uh, how to m make a sexual health better. Okay, and then the last one is what's the parayana? What's the parayana mean? How to keep the where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Something very very far. Come here. Okay, <laughs> so the parayana. Don't go to Vajikarne. You know, stay here. <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> and then what's the parayana mean? How to keep your health in? A, how to prevent from the disorders and how to keep your health as it is and is the swastha parayana you know how to keep your prevention how to keep your health at, as it is and it is uh, swastha parayana and is the swastha parayana or the how you know is how do you keep in a uh, health in a balance none of these are not necessary you know and that mean and a lot of people think Sri Lankan people and Indian people are stupid. They don't have panchakarma. Do they need panchakarma? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, the thing is, my 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 friends, all the doctors, and you know, Sri Lanka, and then in the Bashmet, they have some centers and then good places. And then my, I I pay the money. I make the taxi to my mom and dad to go to the people to have panchakarma and then they all think I'm crazy. Why do I need to have massage? Why do I need to have panchakarma? And like they don't do it because did I say to him you about the panchakarma one of patient of mine said about panchakarma and one of patient came to see me uh, panchakarma you know like she has loads of loads of she's a suicidal person you know like she need to uh, act, you know, like she's the mother of the children, and you know, like loads of problems. They're very wealthy, and um, and I, she's so much in a down, you know, like a mental situation is a kind of schizophrenic in a way, and nobody can't handle it, her. And then she came, and even despite all my our resistance from the <laughs> clinic, I don't know, we have to take her, you know, because you know. And then anyway, we, we took her and then we had to perform loads of panchakarma because why? She's very, very bad, you know, mind-wise. And then she, anyway, then after a few panchakarma lesson, uh, uh, sessions, and she keep asking panchakarma, we run away because why? She's like, a, you know, she's paying the upfront and having a panchakarma like a 20, 10, 15. And anyway, each, each time it's got better and better and better and she got better. And then she came to me and she said, I have to ask one question, doctor. I thought, yes, you can. And then she said, I know I can't, I've got better. I'm really happy now. And the uh, only thing is, if you, if, if somebody kind of me, kind of pay person, person come to me, and uh, if the person has not money, you know, if it's a poor person, has, hasn't got money to pay to the panchakama I paid, did you treat the same way, did you um, the, uh, the explain and give give the same treatment? The person doesn't have money, and then I feel to me really like a knife, you know, because why I did have to treat differently. People, somebody have money, I can ask you can have ten, ten panchakam, you get better, and somebody doesn't have money. How do I cure? I knowing that I could. Uh, um, prescribe the panchakam, but this person has no money to pay. Can I do it freely? But I can't because I'm not a. I'm not in that pe person as well. I had to pay the money for the workers and the place and rent and everything, and I can't do that either. And I, it's it's really killing my heart, you know, like kind of thing. And then suddenly I go on and flick in the my books, and it's came to same thing. There's a. Charak Samhita is read by, uh, made by the Guru and Shishya, they ask the question and answer, question and answer. And the Atre, they are, the, the, the student asked the question, same question uh, the lady asked from me, 
when you explain the the the, the guru is explaining the panchakam he said about what we need and how much uh, the people around you need and then how much medicine you need and how much effort the doctor has to make and it is time consuming and very much um, you know uh, time consuming and sometimes very expensive treatment kind of thing and then the shishyas you say in that you know that if not if the poor person has that kind of that kind of problem and is he ha he has no money to pay and how could be as a th as a person like you ha might have the same question how could i perform the treatment the poor person and he said that is the answer poor person's disorder you know, a poor person can go to the garden dig the all the mm, medicine and boil it and take it and it's cure his problem and rich person has to have this treatment because why rich person's mind is the disorder going through the different channel the mind channel poor person disorder doesn't go that channel and that means you don't need panchakama for the poor people can you believe that how how nicely they put it you know that means who need panchakama best people not the East people. No wonder my parents and anybody who don't have treatment because the don't. I never had panchakam in Sri Lanka. I never, I never have. You know, like uh, we don't perform to the panchakam for the people, but we perform panchakam for the Western people. So West how did, sorry, how did everything start? That if you don't practice it for yourself. Sorry. If you don't practice it for yourself, how did everything happen? <laughs> start to happen. You know what I mean? It's like. You do all the you say. Westerners. Okay. And, uh, no, no, no. I think it's the, for me, it's because uh, disorder crossing which part thing? Armour form. Then after that, what happened to armour? It was just mainly uh, going back to the story of India yeah. and how, you know, how. Panchakarma started. The whole thing, really? Because it is for the royalist. Okay. It started for the royalist okay. who had money. Because why royalists uh, uh, have the treatment? Because they are the one who dealing with shit, is it? <laughs> because why the whole uh, the the coming like uh, the fights and arguments, hundreds wives, this you know the gold and the uh, the other uh, you know like a lot of wealth around, a lot of sex around, and a lot of fight around. And these people are crazy with the mind, and that is royalist. And they should have panchakarma. And then here also, when your people are here, then the Indian person is different. Is what is the Indian person different? You tell me. And they, they ask. They they getting married. Sometimes they are getting married. Doesn't people don't know who they are? They getting married. They learn to love, and they stay there. They have moral and duties. They get on with that. That's fine. And this is the way this is. And this is five years dating they marry and they can't stay in two hours marriage they're kicking and hitting you know because why this is something they're not accepting even they learn to love five years before the marriage then they soon as married and something happened to them <laughs> you know, nothing changed the marriage the something is changed and they're fighting and then they, why they fight it because not learn to accepting as it is they looking for more, looking for better, looking for higher, looking for, and that means your disorder going that way as well. Looking for higher places, looking for better places, looking for some kind of uh, crucial places, and that means they have to act differently. But this person who let thing happen, it's unfolding, it should unfold, doesn't go disorder that much. Mm. And I mean, that's the way it is. Changing yeah, in it, yes, but like people with money, they go for a punch Yeah, the, 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 the normal person doesn't bother. Yeah, the, uh, even, even the, 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 the people have to collect the money or have the money, they have to go different procedures, you see. Yeah. You know, like that's what I say, I really don't want money because it's with money, it's coming a lot of hassle, a lot of, lot of um, you know, responsibility. One, one key no sorrow, more a lot of sorrow. You know, that means you have 
so many you know you have sorrow you have your mind has to be and that's what is uh, panchakarma is for this kind of people panchakarma is not for the poor person who is who you know the, because disorder come in in a different pathways when you know that that you know that's our digestive fire is in a gut and uh, the the jataragni is working and uh, the sara and kitta and this two kitta mean the the waste products sara mean nutrition point and the poor persons okay something happen arma can form and arma go into this either the here there detox finish and the the, the instead of arma going what is the the um, western people going the agni going up you know the creative element you know the 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 the, the fire going up and screw your mind you know but it's like you don't have that capability if you don't have that much to think that much to do that much to you know and then it's a fire is not there and that mean you know like you can is this one is handling is easy something you eat and create more uh, you know good thing you eat and create good digestive fire eliminate the toxins from the gut you done finish and the other way around and which is the digestive fire is going up there and arm going up there mental fire going up there and it need to redirecting to the correct places is a huge job <coughs> and panchakarma is like that and you dislodge all the arm and taking into the gut and from the gut you taking outside to the body and it is quite a huge job and that means panchakarma for here people yes you everybody who open a panchakarma center and there is so many people for you because why this is the disorders here is going the second pathway and the acharya samhita say the poor people disorder you go and dig the garden and uh, take the some uh, medicine and boil it and eat it you think is cured because it's talking about mind not the body you know because poor people's desire is one is one main desire what is it how am i going to eat how am i going to uh, give food to my child and take them to school and do we have that no we know how we can eat we can take our children to school we can initial shelter food is we are taking care of. we have a higher purpose how am i going to get a, my second car and how am i going to get my you know house and how am i going to pay my mortgage how am i going to have a uh the uh, the the pay rise how am i going to have the the holiday how am i going to and this is all about about the, you know the base level and then when you go about the base level your disorder going about the base level <laughs> and it's, it's hard to bring it down and this poor person disorder 